and get together. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. Hey y'all. What's up, you all? Hey E. Hey King and Lena. Yeah, we got some snow. We sure did. Thank you, Libra. I'm glad you guys like it. I almost didn't put that video out. I was like, this is not my best quality lighting. It wasn't my best anything. And I was like. You know what, girl? Fuck it. You guys just got to do what you got to do. But you know, we are our own worst critics. Critics, So, it is what it is. Hey, Jaden. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Ebony. Hey, everybody coming in. Hit a like for your girl because it's free. It don't cost you nothing. I'm next door to Colorado. We got hit with snow, too. Did you, Lena? See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, this is classic Colorado for you. Right when you start to feel like it's springtime, it's right back to winter feel. It wasn't much, though. Like, it, it snowed today, but it was so wet. And I think the ground was so warm from yesterday that it just melted. Oh, ooh, okay. It's warm in Georgia. I need to make my way down to Georgia. That's what I need to do. Because I've been, I was just talking about that the other day. I need to go to, I need to get to Florida, because I've never been, and ATL, because I've never been. And there's a lot of places I've never been. I want to go to Boston, too, because I want some a lobster. I want some seafood. Thanks, E. Thank you, Dexamy. Hey, everybody. Hit a like for your girl because it's free. It don't cost you nothing. There's 256 people in here. I've been extra blind lately. I've been wearing my other ones. I think I need a new prescription, but I pulled out my little cat eye frames because I woke up this morning and I was like, girl, the vision's not visioning like it should be visioning. So... But I look better without them, so <laughs> I'm about to try to pull 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 these off today. Um, what was I gonna? Ooh, now my eyelash again stuck. But yeah. Um, oh, that's what I was gonna do. Not read a comment. I was gonna read the amount of people. So there's 264 people in here. Only 77 likes. So I'll give you a minute to come in, get comfortable, and hit a like for your girl because it's free. It don't cost you nothing. So thank you. But I don't like because the, they're reflective. I could have got the anti-reflective. Cadence is my twin. She is my twin. Thank you, Lena. Thanks, E. These are cute. I finally caught a live. Yes, Anna. I'm glad you caught one. Catching a live for me nowadays is like catching a unicorn. Because I don't go live that much anymore. I stopped wearing eyelash extensions because of my, you know what? It, it, they get stuck and they, they, they get stuck. You just have to go with a shorter, a shorter length, I guess. Hey, Pleasant. I'm doing good. How are you doing, boo? Um, how do you stay motivated and keep beautiful at the same time? Girl, it's hard, especially lately. Um, but yeah, I just did a video, a whole, like, mm, I don't want to call it like an update video, but like a kind of like, 
a why I've been MIA type video. So that'll be up tomorrow. Um, and I just kind of go over basically, you know, what's been going on with your girl, you know, and everything like that. It's so easy to get on social media and pretend like everything is all good, but not everything is always all good. Sometimes, you know, life be lifing. Life, life be lifing. And so, you know, anyway, we'll get into that in the video. Yo, you guys, make sure you stay tuned for that because I drop a lot of my own, my own tea on that one. I'm still finishing up the vlog you posted. Do you guys like the longer vlogs? Like, do you like them? Are you liking them? Or do you like it, the one that I posted? Because if so, you know, I think I could make that a regular thing, you know? Um, if you want to, if you want them, if you like them. If not, I'll go back to the 10 and 15 minute videos. But if you want them to be like 30 minutes or longer, let me know. And I will try to do it because, yeah, I feel like it's, it. you know, it's you get get more content that way you just get more of the things that you guys already been asking for you know you love it so far okay cool i took a break from social media for a whole year and a half living life to the fullest and uh, you know sometimes you have to social media is draining um it's draining and my my defense mechanism for anything in life, if I feel overwhelmed, if I feel like it's doing too much, if I feel like it's draining me, I shut down. I shut it down and I cut it off. And, um, you know, which is it's a good thing, but sometimes it's a bad thing, especially for what I do. You know, if, if I'm going to shut down on social media, then I'm shutting down, you know, my income. So it's hard being a content creator because if you feel overwhelmed, if you feel like you need a break, or if you feel like you don't want to do it anymore, you kind of like are stuck between a rock and a hard place because it's not really how you feel, it's your job. Just like, you know, a lot of us don't like to go clock into our jobs every day, you know what I'm saying, our nine to fives, but you, the bills don't get paid if you don't show up. So it's the same thing with social media. The bills don't get paid if I don't show up. The, the, the money's not coming in if I'm not showing up. So I have no choice, you know, a lot of the time. So anyway, uh, you look so pretty because yeah, I need those glasses. They're cute. Thank you. I got these from, uh, where I get these from? I want to say Vogue Me. I did a review because this was, um, I got a whole bunch of frames as a paid partnership and I just sent them my prescription and picked the frames that I wanted and they put all my prescription in the frames. But I wish I would have told them to do anti-reflective and I think I did blue light. Um, but now, and they just hit me up the other day too. They want to work again, but I need to get an updated prescription before I do that because I, I, I need my prescription updated. It's been a year. I need to save my mind and energy to keep up with these social media pages at times. I mean, that's how it is. Hey, sis. Love you. Best mom in the world. Thank you, Jessica. Hey, girl. Um, I miss the live cooking. Tell. Or telly. Tell. Whatever. <laughs> Y'all know I'm not good with names. Um, don't worry. I have some shopping hauls I need to post. And I have tons of cooking content. Y'all, I've been cooking my ass off. And I just haven't been posting it. Again, stay tuned for the video to, so y'all can understand why, really why I've kind of been distant from social media or just distant in general. Like, I have spent all of my time, I'm, I'm working on other projects, but I've been spending a majority of my time doing the bare minimum to keep me going. I mean, if I'm being, if, if you want me to be real with y'all, like, I've been doing the bare minimum to keep me living comfortable and my, live, making my kids live comfortable um, and pay my bills. Um... When really I could be doing a lot more. I need to be doing a lot more because of my own personal shit, you know? And without saying too much on this, because I, like I said, I just did a whole video about it. You guys, you guys are going to get it tomorrow. Um, like, I've just been trying to survive. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've just been surviving. So I've been doing the things that are most important, taking care of the house, taking care of the kids. And I've been obviously working, but on other things that'll get me paid instead of, you know, the things that I really probably should be doing, like vlogging all the time for you guys and stuff like that. Cause I haven't felt like it. I haven't wanted to do anything. So now I'm kind of, I feel like I'm coming around. I'm coming around and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get back to the basics. I'm trying to force myself cause I don't have a choice. Like you got to get back to it, you know? Um, but that's just me being honest with you guys. I could be doing more, but life, like I said, has been life. And I just be like, motivation sometimes is not there when it should be. So, yeah. Um, at the end, 
Wait, hold on. I feel like as long as your bills are paid and your children are good, if you got it, if you got an extra at the end, you want to do for you, right? Exactly. Hold on. Now the boys are at my door. Hold on one second, y'all. Y'all know how that goes. It's not a live. Hold on. It's not a live stream if we don't get interrupted. Hold on. Okay, sorry guys. But y'all know how it is when you have little kids. Kids in general, they all interrupt. They, they probably gonna interrupt me 15 more times before we're done. But we just gonna try to make it through. Um, hey, Pretty Red. Hey, Nisi. Um, it's okay, Chrissy. It's life and us as parents understand. But hang in there. You got this. Thank you, Lena. Taking time off for you is a must. Absolutely. Um, I think I've had enough time off now. I need to get back to it. It's just been difficult. I've been going through some things. I've been going through some things, but um, I don't like to. I don't like to get on here and cry about it. I, I don't like to get on here and whatever. I'm not saying I ain't gonna cry. Yeah, because you know, <laughs> real, all real gangsters cry. We we all got some tears. No, I'm just playing. But um. You know, I just don't like to complain. I don't like a complainer. But that's not what I'm doing in my video. I'm just being honest with you guys. So you'll, you'll, you'll see in here, um, whatever. No, I don't get lip filters. I mean, fillers. <laughs> I'm blessed with the pretty lips and the thick hips. <laughs> Boars. It's like, thank you, Mary. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Oh, thank you, Tamika. Thanks for being here. Where are you going next? Um, I don't know, but um, I got some things. I got some things. <laughs> got some things planned, okay? Got some things. I don't want to give out all my, <laughs> all of my things. Um, you know, the same company that uh, I went to New York with a couple months ago, they hit me up again, and they're doing some yacht parties coming up pretty soon. I'm like, if I can get, fit it in my schedule, yacht me, please. Okay. Your girl wants to be on a yacht. So I might go to that and be back in NYC. So if you guys, you know, whatever, want to come with your girl, you're welcome to come. Uh, but I'll let you all know if that becomes an actual thing or if right now I'm just, I just saw the email, so I'm just looking, just browsing. But, um... Other than that, I have some things planned for trips for myself and some stuff for me and the kids as well for this summer. I'm trying to wait till they get out of school because it's just easier for me that way. So, and then I'm going to go out of the country, I think, this year. I think it's going to be the first year I try to go out the country. I'm considering Panama, something kind of close where I can get my stamp on my passport, but I don't necessarily have to be on a plane for 17 hours because you know how I feel about planes. We don't even need to go there. Cause you already know how your girl feels about planes, okay? So, um, yeah. Thank you. Yacht party, I wanna go. I know, it sounds fun, doesn't it? I'm like, I wanna go. I wanna go to the yacht party. Nobody's ever invited your girl to a yacht party before. <laughs> I want to travel out of the country. Yep, girl, I just booked my appointment for my passport. I need to get the kids theirs too, but I'm going to try it first. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to dip my toe in the water first, 
And then, you know, as time goes on, I'm going to plan something for all of us to get out of the, the get out this country and go experience the other side of life. But um, I'm going to go try and see how I like it or whatever. I don't know for myself first. And then we'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. We'll figure out the rest of it. But for right now, that's, that's what we're doing. And y'all know I don't have my passport, but I'm going to get my passport. And your girl is taking a flight, okay? Um... Yes, I'm, yeah, just to answer your question, A, I'm going to go on a trip with the kids, too. Also, the hair looks so good and natural. Thank you. Um, yes, hit a like for your girl because it's free. don't cost you nothing. There's 393 people in here and only 186 likes. Y'all already know. Okay. On the way in. You experience the world. Too. Y'all deserve it. Thank you. I love the longer vlogs to help. Maybe you should try getting footage throughout the week so you won't wear yourself out in the in one day. I watch I'll watch anything you put out though. Thank you. And you're right. Um that vlog was a combination of like two days, to be honest. Um, but I feel like I want to do that too. Like maybe some shorter vlogs of other things, like maybe we could do like a laundry fold with me, whatever, clean with me, or shop with me, or whatever we do, run errands with me, whatever it is. And then like for the vlogs, we can do like a couple over a course of a couple of few days. Cause I think that would be easier for me. It's a lot of pressure trying to vlog everything in one day. That day I was exhausted. I was exhausted. Um, even my mom, she was like, you could tell you were tired in that video. And I really, I really fucking was. It, I was exhausted the whole time, yawning and everything. That's why I contemplated even putting that video out. Because I was like, your girl's looking crazy. I was looking fat as hell. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want that perception of me to be out online. But then I was like, you know what? That's real. Like some days, you know, are going to be easier than others. Some days, you know, are going to be better than others. Some days there's going to be dishes in my sink. Some days there's not. Some days there's going to be, you know what I'm saying? The kids um, are going to have their hair braided down and dressed to the nines. And some days they're not, you know, sometimes they're going to be rocking a ponytail and just throwing something on just to go to the park or whatever, you know? So it's, it's life. It's life. I think I... And we as people get so caught up in the show for the internet that we're not really being realistic. I, I have to be realistic with myself. If I wait for my days to be perfect to vlog, I ain't never going to vlog because my days are never perfect. There's always a basket of laundry in the background. There's always some toys on the floor somewhere, a dish in the sink on the counter. There's always something that needs to be done. And I'm only one person. So, shit, it is what it is. Y'all gonna have to move and shake it. We gotta get out and get it. You know what I'm saying? That's just gonna have to be out of it. We're just gonna do it like that. Okay. This is the way with me. That's why we love you. Keep it authentic. Right. Thank you. That's real. Chrissy, I gotta go do mom life too, but stay safe. Okay, Lena. I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Monica. We all relate to it. There's no perfect life. Just as long as it's being lived. Right. You win it. Thank you. You love the vlog. Thanks, uh, pretty red. Sis. Mom. Okay. People keep calling me, and I don't know who's calling me. Hey, boo. Work is never done, right? It's real life, and every day is not rose and gold. Period. It's not candy-coated kisses. Okay? Not every day is like that. Yes, welcome in and be sure to hit a like for your girl because it's free. Hit a like for your girl, y'all. It's 400 people in here and only 200 likes. I have a whole bunch of coffee grounds in the bottom of my... It's time to clean my Keurig. But yeah, you guys. So that's basically what's been up with your girl lately. Yep, mom life is real. It just it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You got to do what you got to do. Like I said, I spent a majority of my time lately just surviving. Um, I love how you still live your life. People think just because you have kids that you can't go out and do things without the. Yep, yeah, without them. Right, exactly. So my biggest thing is um, I'm still gonna live my life. I'm young. I'm 32. I'm I'm still young. You know what I'm saying? And the way I see it is I spent, I sacrificed a lot of my young adulthood and late teenhood years being a mom. I never went out. I never went to the club. I never went to a bar. I did not drink. I did not smoke. I did not hang out with friends. I stayed home with my kids and did everything with the kids. And 
you know, then I got married and then I was a wife and then I stayed home and I cooked and cleaned and I was a wife and then I was a mom, wife and everything else. And you know what I'm saying? And although I loved doing all those things and I still love being a mom and I still love doing things with the kids and I still enjoy, you know, the things that we do here at home, I got to have a life too. I got to have a quality of life too. Life, we not here for a long time, you know, and it's like, I don't want to look back and be 75 and be like, damn, all I ever did was mom, you know, although that's a great accomplishment. Um, I want to have a life too, a quality of life too. So that's how I give myself that grace. Like I've done, I've, I'm doing the mom thing. All of my, it took me to my thirties to want to even travel without my kids or go anywhere. Cause I would never even travel and leave my kids. Um, like I, I've, I was, I used to be one of those moms where I didn't spend nights away from the kids. Like, in even when my mom had the kids for like a night, I'm like, okay, you can bring my kids back now. I'm ready to come back now, you know. Um, so you know, some people may want to spend every waking moment um, with their children. That's great, good for you, whatever works for you. Me on the other hand, <laughs> I'm about to go uh, turn up. Okay, I, I'm about to go do some hot mom shit. Okay, because I ain't got time. All right. I want to I want to have fun and and do, you know, do fun stuff too that doesn't necessarily involve children. Uh, okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was team mom to my 30s were the best. See? Hey Ming, you got to have that balance. You got to have that balance. That's how you that you can't be a good mom if you're not a good you. You know what I'm saying? If you don't take care of you, how are you going to take care of anybody else? So I go. When I'm invited on a date, if I want to go, I go. If I'm invited to lunch, if I want to go, I go. I'm on, what? I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. We just had this discussion. I'm not giving out any candy. Get off my dough. <laughs> I'm tired of getting up. Shit. Love them, but they can sit down and watch TV. They were fine for 30 minutes before I got on live. Someone told me to stop taking so long. I'm sitting here on my phone. I'm like, I need to hurry up and get on this live stream before they come in here and messing with me. And now look, look at them, pressing the buttons and everything. No privacy around here. This is why you can't be, you can't be at your foolish, foolish, your full, your full self. <laughs> when you're around the kids, especially if you got toddlers. They follow you everywhere. Oh, my God. I cannot breathe. I'd be like, damn, do you have to watch me use the bathroom, though? Like, do you really? Is it that serious? Blaze has it real bad. He he has to be up under me every waking second. Like, I, God. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to get up again. Y'all understand. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm going to mute this, though, because no telling what they're going to say. They fuck around tell my business or something. You know how kids are. Hold on. He didn't want anything. They didn't want anything. But Blaze just wanted to make sure, wanted to let me know that he knew what two, but two plus two was. And um, that's it. They don't be wanting nothing for real. They just like to interrupt me because it's fun. It's beating your ass, is it? Oh, gosh. Yeah, they're trying to crack the code, girl. They just be pressing, um, pressing buttons. I like myself in the bathroom, girl. I do too. Rhode Island and Boston and the Cape Cod and Martha Vineyard is a great location to eat seafood and other things. Martha Martha's Vineyard is where black people hang out at. Thank you for letting me know that because I for sure am finna go. When I tell you I'm trying to eat somebody's fresh lobster and, 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 and drink like the most robust wine, like it's, oh my God. <laughs> Don't, I will put on my bougie black girl best and 
take my ass there, eat some seafood, do some wine tastings. Girl, don't play with me. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Okay? We're going. Ming, pack a bag. <laughs> Clear our schedules. We're going. Okay? Kids always want something when you are doing some, anything. My kids are the same thing. They do. They just like, I mean, literally drive you fucking crazy. I'll be up in here going crazy. Like, listen. Listen. Didn't we just have this discussion five minutes ago? And I love my kids, but sometimes they be want to talk about the most ridiculous shit. I be like, I, okay. Or we'll have the same conversation 14 times a day. And I'll be like, Blaze, what did I just say? I just, we just talked about this 30 minutes ago and I just told you, and you asking again that my answer is not changing. No, you may not have any more candy. No. No, we cannot go to 7-Eleven. <laughs> yes. Um, afternoon tea time with Chrissy. Worth every sip. Thank you. Right? You and me got to do an epic trip together. Yep. Okay, me. We gonna go. Uh, kids always want something when you're... Oh, you know, I already read that one. But yeah, or they won't get to the point if this, of the story. I'm like, ma'am, what do you need? Right? Like, it, it takes kids a minute to tell a story. It's like they're trying to process their thoughts, like, the, as, they're, as the words are trying to formulate or something going on there. The processing to, to mouth time is a little delayed there. It's like, what? What? What is it? I try to be patient, though. I try to be patient and just be like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's something they're going to have to grow and learn how to learn, you know, to kind of like, okay, have your story together before you get here. But they be coming and trying to, to think of the story at the same time they're trying to tell it. And I be like, mm hmm. Oh, okay. And then sometimes I try to help them and be like, oh, yeah. And then this happened. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. And because it, it, you'll be, we'll be here till tomorrow. They'll be like, and mom, um, so I was at school today and my friend, um, yeah, my friend, um, the one with the pink shoes and I'm like, oh my God, what else happened? Uh, yeah, what did she do? <laughs> she said she liked my hair. Okay, and we were here for 30 minutes. <laughs> my five-year-old asked me 50 times, do you still love me? What comes after? Yes, please tell me so I can tell him. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, Kaya used to do that to me. Kai used to do that to me all the time. She'd be like, do you still love me? I'd be like, girl, yes. Every time I would be like stern with her, like you have to go to bed now. She'd be like, okay, do you still love me? I'm like, girl, of course I love you, but you still got to go to bed. Kai, now. <laughs> I don't have any kids, but it sounds interesting. Girl, I'm going to tell you like I tell my kids, listen, I love you guys, but don't have no kids or wait a really long time like live your full life first go travel go you know like do your whole life and then when there's nothing left to do and i mean like literally you're like fuck i've done everything i want to do in life then you can settle down and have kids and you know or get married again and or get married whatever that whole family life thing do everything you want to do first because when i tell you them little motherfuckers be sucking the life out of bitch. Okay? Love them. I love them. But they can suck the life out of a motherfucker real quick. Okay? <laughs> day by day. It's a slow, it's a slow one. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I tell my kids that all the time. Like, enjoy your life first to the fullest. Do everything you want to do. <sighs> right i'm pregnant with my ninth baby i'm gonna go crazy <laughs> sabrina congratulations listen girl listen after that point we already know what to expect we already know what's going on we already got it we already got a full flow together like what's another one and another one and another one <laughs> now though now that um onyx is he's about to be four this year now that he's older, I'm like, I could not imagine having another child. I'm good on all that. I'm good on it. I'm good. Let it double it and give it to the next person. Triple it and give it to the next one. Cause I'm good. I'm so good. Like I can't imagine starting over right now. Like, mm -mm. 
Mm, I'm almost free. <laughs> freedom, I can see it. And it's like partially freedom when they go to school full time and you don't have to pick them up half day and you ain't got to apply for, to put them in a, you know, a special pre-K or nothing like that. You just drop them off and you pick you up, pick them up at three o'clock or three thirty or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of freedom that I'm looking for so that I can have my days to myself. I'm so fucking close. And God forbid I have to wake up every two hours. Fuck that. Double it and give it to Sabrina. Sabrina, <laughs> I hope two comes out because uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> um, my, uh, yep, and I had surgery. You had your surgery last Wednesday. What surgery? You had like your tubes tied or did you go get that stomach snatched? Because that's what I want to do. Baby, I'm free. <laughs> right, get somebody else to do it. Get somebody else to do it. Yeah. I was talking to somebody. Um, I was out the other night and this guy was sparking a conversation with me. Older guy. And um, definitely, we're going to talk about that too. Let's talk about it. We'll talk about it in a second. I got a, I got a story for y'all now that I'm thinking about it. But um, so we, we had sparked a conversation. He sparked a conversation with me. We're, we're, we're small talking, right? And I told him, you know, I've got nine kids and da, 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 da. And he was like, wow, nine kids. And he was asking, like, are you having any more? And I'm like, everybody asked me that. I don't know if they do everybody like that that has kids or is it just because I have a lot? They were like, you having any more? Do If I had two kids, would they be like, are you having any more? Is that something women just get asked or what? But anyway, people always be like, are you having any more? And um, I told him, I was like, you know, at one point in time, I thought that I might want 10, round it off, have another little girl. So I have five boys, five girls, make it cute, da 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 I was like, but at this point in my life, fuck them kids. <laughs> I love them, but fuck them kids. You know, I ain't having no more in my mouth. I mean, fuck that. Fuck that. No. Um, and he's like, oh, you don't want any more kids? I'm like, no, I don't. I don't want any more. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no. He's like, well, what if you get with, get remarried or, you know, get with somebody and they don't want any, I don't give a fuck what you want. <laughs> I don't care what you want. You better be prepared for what I do and don't want. The hell? Now, that's hypo real hypothetically speaking because I don't care. I don't really care what you want, sir. It doesn't matter. You carry it. <laughs> okay? You deal with it. How about that? Anyway, you always asking the same question. LOL, not the bringing back on them. I'm so weak at the minute, right? F them kids. FTK. FTK. We need to get some shirts printed, okay? I have 10 and my youngest is 12 and I love my free time. See? When they get to that age, it's like, bye-bye. Right. <laughs> Respectfully. Nika, Nika said, well, I said nigga. Nika said one and done. Um, I had to deactivate my CC and need to join again with another card. I haven't done it yet. Okay, do it. Do it. He didn't hear you on the F. Right. He didn't hear me. The FTK didn't come through clearly enough. But I think it was because that guy wanted, he was out here trying to restart our whole life. He talking about, he, he had two grown ass kids. Was even a grandfather talking about, oh yeah, I'll have another one. Boy, get out of my face. Get out of my face. I, what do you look like? 50 having another child sir get out of my face and my space what are you talking about side eye no immediate turn off so anyway more about that conversation since i said i was going to dive into it so yeah the guy first approached me because he was like you smell really really nice guys like to leave with that oh you smell so good and i'm like i know thank you i didn't say that but that's what i was thinking okay so i was like okay Thanks, you know, <laughs> whatever. So then he, you know, sits down, want to chat, buy a drink, whatever. Cool, fine. So we get to talking. So in my mind, because, you know, older men like to always be like, well, what's too old? Like, what do you, what do you date older men? Da, 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 da. I, that depends. Do you got some money? Because I, I was telling this to my sister the other day, and this is hilarious, and that's why I'm going to tell you guys. Okay? And I was like, oh, 
it doesn't matter what age you are. Like at my big age of 32, I don't care. As long as you are a nice person and you have something to offer, just like anybody would, like a man would want me to have something to bring to the table. Actually, I, you know, whatever. So he was like, you know, we get to talking and I'm, I'm like, he's in an interview, but he don't know it. He don't know it. Right. So cosmetically, he was probably a six and a half. And I'm not, you know, I need my men with a little sprinkle of ugly these days because, you know, I've dealt with some really fine men and it's, it's, it's too much work. I ain't got time for all that. I need you. You got to be a little ugly. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Not like, damn, nobody will love you but your mother. Not a face only a mother could love. But, you know, like, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So we both know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we both know what's up. We're on the same page. I want to be the most beautiful person in a relationship. But I want you to be fine, too. Just not finer than me. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> anyway. So, cosmetically, you know, he kept himself up, but not the best. You know, he could have done better. Like, you know, whatever. So, I'm interviewing him, but he don't know he's been interviewed. We're just having a, a nice, light conversation. And the things that I really want to know for any man is, expect, but especially my expectations for an older man, if you're 50 and up, I expect you to own some property. At least your house, right? Because... I'm 30 and I wish I had already bought a house by now. If it was up to me, I'd have been bought a house. But if you're 50 with no, you have no property, you have no assets, what the fuck can you do for me? You too old to be trying to build together, build a life together. No, you need to be having your shit together all the way already. But what the fuck can you do for me? <laughs> you don't even own your house, sir. And I'm not saying that that's a problem because some people just don't want to own. Some people have their own. No, he just couldn't own his own house. Talking about he still got credit issues. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're already marked off the list because I cannot fuck with you if you don't have your credit together and my credits. I'm, I'm working on mine, baby. <laughs> but I'm not 50 either. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not a grandmother. Okay? By the time I'm 50 and I'm a grandmother, hopefully I'm not a grandmother at 50 because I'm still going to be young. Okay? Um, I'm going to have at least one property under my belt, the one I'm living in. Um, and my credit should be to where, like, I can go walk and get any house, get any car, whatever. The fuck. I don't have to be perfect, but something. Um, <laughs> it just was like all kinds of things. Everything he said, I was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Not only do you want a kid at 50, you trying to trap a bitch. Uh-uh, I'm sorry. Can I be real with y'all? Hell no. <laughs> trying to trap a young chick. Uh-uh. You ain't got no credit of your own. I'm already, like, you know, if you want to be technical... I already got my own struggles. What the fuck you think? We gonna struggle together? I'm not gonna do that. Not with the 50 year old. I'm sorry. If I'm gonna be with the 50 year old, you're gonna come take me up out of every struggle I have and put me into some other shit and then together we'll be together and all that. No, we're not. I'm not about to struggle with an old ass man. <laughs> we both working on our credit and we both one day wanna buy a house. Sir, that may never happen for you at this stage in the game. Okay, <laughs> that sounds so fucked up, but I'm serious. Like when you're, I don't care, nine kids or not, I take care of all my kids by myself. I ain't looking for a paycheck for them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking to, for anybody to come and take care of all, me and all nine of my kids. I get my bag by myself. But sir, if you got nothing that you can give to me to make my life better, besides some old pain, I, I think I, I think I'll just be single for the rest of my fucking life first. Like what? Are you kidding me? No, no. And you're talking about having a kid, so now I gotta have a kid with you, and you can't even buy me a fucking house. Mm, it's giving. Get somebody else to do it, cause I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> no sir. No sir. No. <laughs> now, if it was different, yeah, maybe. You know, I'm not having no kid, but you know, I might want to talk to you. Hell no. Mm -mm. No, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, it was that. And then, so it was the credit. He didn't own his house. And um, and the credit is like, okay, but for his age, like, I understand. Because I'm not, I don't have a perfect credit score either. I've done a lot of work online in the last year or so. So it's definitely getting better to where I'm not, like, in a real bad status with my credit, but it definitely needs some work. You know, I still have some work to do, but I'm working on it. Okay. Your girl was working on it. Um, but at his age, like I, you shouldn't have already had your finances figured out by now. You're 50, sir. 
So that the credit at that age is a problem. Not owning his own house is a problem. And then he he was driving a Tesla. He pointed to it, was like, yeah, that's my car over there. I'm like, oh, nice. You got a nice little Tessie. Cool. Then I found out he was renting the Tesla. I was like, what happened to your car? And he was like, oh, I hit it. I hit it. I guess he ran into a deer or something on the way to work and he hit it. He hit the deer or whatever. So he like totaled his car. Here's the last thing. This is what my, my sister was dying after this, right? And I said, oh, you totaled your car? Mm, insurance? Like, you can get another one. You're just shopping around. You're just waiting, taking your time, trying to find someone. He's like, no, I only hit liability. Sir, excuse me. You didn't. You only have, you're 50 fucking years old. You only got liability. At 50, you should know better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? So now, you ain't got no car. You don't own your house. Okay. <laughs> your credit score's fucked up. And you out here trying to trap bitches? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't do it. I was like, okay, no. Mm -mm. That did it for me. That did it for me. You got liability? 50 years old, and you don't know better than that. So now you don't have no car. Mm -hmm. And your credit's fucked up, so you probably can't just go and buy one. That's why you've written. Mm -hmm. See, I got a problem with that. Because at 50, we should know better by now. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. You're not in a position to be dating nobody right now. <laughs> You're not. And I don't mean to be judgmental. But, bitch, we got to have some standards. Okay? I couldn't believe that. That shit sent me. I was out the door. Like, what? You're 50. Your insurance, your insurance every month for a full coverage probably wouldn't even be that much because you're fucking 50. Just pay the 50, 75 extra dollars a month to fucking have full coverage. Now you ain't got a fucking car. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh-uh. I'm sorry. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Bombastic side eye. Because no. All right. <laughs> Let me read some of y'all's comments. That's the FD, right? Them older men in 2023 are worse than the 30, right? And then I would go get me a 22-year-old if I wanted a nigga who didn't have shit to, his life not together. <laughs> You're wasting my time at this point, sir. Right. Like, ain't nothing in your life going good. Like, I can't talk shit. I can't talk shit. Nobody's perfect. You're just not the man for me, sir. You know, there's somebody out here who's going to deal with your shit. But you can't be a six and a half in the face and body. Okay. And, and have all these other problems. <laughs> You've given me nothing to go off of. Okay. And like I said, looks are only part of it, but damn. You gotta wake up to a six and a half who can't do shit for you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> Was he in prison for most of his life? No, no, he wasn't. Not that I know of. I mean, I didn't. I only had the one conversation with the man. But no, not that I know of. Not that he didn't mention it. <laughs> Cause what the fuck? Okay, and if, even if so, you would think he would get out and, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Credit should be good, right? You used it for 20 years or whatever. He only had two kids. Two kids and one grand.
What about now? <laughs> Can y'all hear me now? Okay, I'm sorry. Every time somebody calls me, it fucks up my audio. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Thanks, Ming. She texts me like, girl, we can't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. It was Blaze's fault because he FaceTiming me and he know he don't need nothing. You know, they always do that when the conversation's getting good. No, but what I was saying was that, like, everybody has their own expectations. Just like a man would expect a woman not to have a super high body count, to be able to maintain the house, cook clean, maintain the children, you know, that, that, that life you know, still be feisty or whatever, sexual and seductive in the bedroom, try to, you know, just like men look for those types of aspects when they're dating, um, you know, and women, women have our own, we have our own expectations too, sir. Um, I don't, I'm not just here to appease a, 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 a man, you know, what I'm trying to keep it a little, you know, PG 13 on here, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. Like, just like they look for things in us, I have my, we have our own expectations as well. I expect for a man to be a provider and a protector and all those different things. So, yeah. And be able to play stepdaddy. You gotta be good with kids. Okay. Can't be a weirdo. Can't be mean. You know, gotta be nice to my babies, all that stuff. But you know, I can imagine what your date can say about you. I never ever met a girl with nine kids. See, I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But the thing is, is like when it comes down to it, the type of person who I would be interested in it would not be someone who's probably never met anybody with kids or a lot of kids. You're probably too young for me, or you just probably haven't met anybody come across anybody like that. There's plenty of women who have kids, lots of kids, maybe not nine kids. That's more rare, but that's why I'm open and honest in the beginning when I meet somebody like I have nine kids. If it scares you and you're like, oh, fuck that shit. Hell no, I got to go. Shoo, then it's, you're not the you're not the person who I, w I would never want a man in my space who would have a problem with my package. That's my package. That's my total package. I love all of my kids, you know, and. If I knew then what I know now about life, men, relationships, sex, and everything else, I may not have had nine kids, but I didn't. Everybody's life path is different. So I don't I don't sit and I don't hide behind that. I don't sit and cower. I used to feel that way. I used to feel inferior to the next woman who maybe, you know, had kids but not as many. Um and I stopped feeling that way because this is me. This is my life. And the type of man who I would want in my life could never be somebody that would have a problem or could never be somebody that would judge me for my past. Everybody has one. Mine came with some baggage that I take with me everywhere I go. <laughs> okay? But I love them nonetheless. And I wouldn't replace them for anything else. Some people have been to prison. Some people have, you know, whatever. Some people are, have their own different things. That's why I don't judge people like that. And I have more grace when I when I talk to certain people because I understand everybody has a past. As long as you're not still doing the same things that you were doing then, as long as you make better decisions and you take care of your responsibilities, what, what the fuck am I? I'm not God judges, not me. You know what I'm saying? If you're not the person for me, you're not the person for me. And if I'm not the person for you, and if my nine kids is too much for you, then I understand it. I respect it. I would rather somebody tell me up front, hey, listen, that's too much for me. I don't think I'll be able to take that on or deal with that and move on. And I'm not going to be hurt about it because what one man won't, another man will. And that's what we need to remember. Okay, ladies, single ladies who date, <laughs> single ladies who date, what one man won't deal with, the next man will. And I promise you, even with nine kids. So, you know, I'm up front and I'm forward about everything. So there's no, there's no room to be like, well, you know, I didn't know or whatever. There's no room for that. I'm up front. Just like I expect people to be up front with me, I'm up front with you. You know, I handle my own life, my own shit very well. I don't need a man to take care of my kids. I don't need a man to take care of me even. But I'm, I'm, I'm human. You know what I'm saying? And I do like men. So when I do want to date, you know, I just date certain people. I don't date the people who would have a problem with me, my life. Right. My husband has been my 15 year old's dad since he was nine months. See, it's true. All your kids are well taken care of, fed and smart, fed, smart and beautiful. Thank you, lovely. I always wanted a big family, but I wanted someone else to carry the kids. Girl, I know why now. Okay. 
right? Like you got to go even if, right, right, exactly. If you even twist up about the kids, I'm sorry, you got to go, sir. Hit the dough. <laughs> Hit the dough. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, so that doesn't offend me when people are like, oh my God, like this and that. And, and, and everybody has their own opinions of what a, a mom with nine kids looks like or what, what a woman with a lot of kids looks like. You know, it is what it is. Um, did you ever get a C-section for any of your kids? No, I never had a C-section, y'all. They all came out vaginally and my vagina is still intact, okay? Because everybody always think that's another misconception. Not to put y'all in my business, but my vagina is still very much intact and she still can grip some stuff, okay? I hate to be forward like that, but I think people have to remember that a vagina, a vagina, the vaginal canal is a muscle, baby. Just like any of your other muscles, you work that, you squeeze them or whatever you gotta do to get you some yoni pearls, get you some stems or something. I don't know what you gotta do, but if you're not taking care of your, your thingy thing, your thingy lady parts, they gonna be ran through regardless. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take care of yourself. I take care of mine. Okay, I take care of mine. So that's why you see, you see I kept having them. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> but um, that's a misconception. Every time a video of mine, like when I put the kids out there and the, the comments, I be dying laughing because they'll be like, oh my God, like, you know, she's ran through, you know, da, 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 da. Like, I can only imagine that. Like, baby, you could never even ride this ride, honey. <laughs> and my standards now are a lot higher than men. Hey, especially with the nine kids. So, mm -mm. <laughs> I have 10 and one on the way. This fee is tight, right? Please don't, please don't get that misconstrued, okay? Don't get me out here fucked up, okay? Girl, listen, listen. <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. And I have, so my goodness, is still fire. And I have 10, right, exactly. See, I'm loving all the moms with a lot of kids on here. Hey, y'all. Y'all my soul sisters. Um, like, don't knock it till you try it, baby. Right? right? <laughs> don't knock it until you try it. <laughs> it be your own people, mainly women. Yeah, it do. It do. It do. Thank you, Hazel. It does. It really do be your own people. And it be black men on there, too. And honestly, every time a video goes viral on my shores or anywhere, my inbox is full of men. You would be like, oh, oh, men, nobody would. No, full of men. Full of men. I don't talk to any of them because ill, but full of men. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> How are you doing, girl? I'm going to start just sending my cash app. That's what Ming does. She'd be like, you want oh, you want to send me and my husband and my kids lunch? Here's my cash app. That's what I'm going to start doing because they really be in my inbox. I admire how you take care of yourself even with your kids. Thank you. They be mad I can pull with a, like, what they see in her. I'm like, I'm right, right, right. <laughs> Mix it immediately. Girl, I'm trying to tell you with the quickness. Because I you want to send some money? Because that's how you get my attention, for real. On some real shit, I had a guy once that was sending me money. They was trying to talk to me from YouTube. I don't talk to people who watch me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't do that. It's, it's giving... Weird, weirdo vibes. I don't like to talk to people who know me from the internet first. If you know me from the internet, it's, I, I don't, mm -mm. But this guy kept trying, like, to talk to me for, like, a while. I mean, he was emailing me. He was DMing me. He was messaging me on Snapchat. Finally, I said, fuck it. I'm going to send him my cash app and see what he do. My man sent me $100, and I hadn't even had a conversation with him yet. See, that's the problem. We don't put the, our expectations are too low. But if you raise them expectations a little bit, you'd be surprised what you get. I was like, okay. I was like, now you have my attention. How can I help you, sir? <laughs> what would you like? <laughs> right. That's a red flag, right? It is. My mom's family had seven girls and three boys, and she was the baby. Oh, right. We grown, right? Right. Like, time is money. My time is very valuable. I can't, I can't talk to anybody who's not gonna, you know, who's not gonna understand that. And I'm like, I, it's not tricking if you got it. You feel me? It's not tricking if you got it. Just like, what is her name? I told Mimas the other day and I can't remember this girl's name. Is it Lola Brooke? When she was like, I love fucking with a rich nigga. 
<laughs> is that Lola Brooke? I like her. But that's how I feel. Like, because he going to trick and I'm going to trick, but he going to trick bigger. Because that's what I'm, can I find that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to need you to trick. I'll trick a little, but you're going to trick bigger at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Lady London, that's who it is. I keep getting them mixed up. It just shows you ain't going to waste my time. Period. Exactly. Because a lot of men do. They will waste your time. You know what I'm saying? Just waste it. Like, honey, time is money. We don't have time to waste out here. Okay? All right. And don't try to date outside your tax bracket. That's a lot of thing. Another thing that men will try to do too. Women too. But mostly men. Don't date outside your tax bracket. If you can't afford to date, don't date. Dating is expensive. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're dating multiple women at once. Which is your right. Date or multiple people at once. Date who you want to do. That's what dating is about. You date. But if you're going to date somebody, you have to understand that costs money. You know what I'm saying? Women are expensive. So, anyway. I used to not care. I used to be I used to be one of them simple-minded bitches that was like, that's why a couple of my baby daddies is broke as fuck. And I'm I'm just being I'm being real with y'all. Because I didn't vet them properly. That's why we learned from Chrissy for those of us who don't have kids. Don't pick broke ass niggas to have babies with. Okay, use me as your example. I don't mind it. All right. You can't just, oh, he's gonna one day, the man you meet, the day you meet him statistically is the same man he's gonna be later especially when you're older like when you're in your late 20s early to mid 30s and uh, like later the men you meet that's the man you gonna have if that man working at taco bell and he's 30 years old you're not you chances are now that now i'm not trying to be rude and then be like oh men can or women or anybody could never you know reach that potential or be a millionaire i'm not saying that I'm saying the likelihood of him getting his rap career off the ground at 30 is very unlikely. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, the chances of him going semi-pro, very unlikely at that age. So you just have to take that into account. Whereas, and stop looking at, oh, what he could be, and bitch, look at him for what he is. See, that's what I fucked up doing, okay? Okay. I'm looking at, oh, well, you know, he has potential. Fuck that. Fuck a potential. Okay? What are you doing now? Even if you ain't got it all up off the ground, what are you doing actively to make that a, a possibility? Like, if you want to start a, a business, but you're not there yet, I'm not going to be like, fuck you. You ain't started your business yet. You're not there. You're not established. Because I'm not perfect. Nobody is. But now that's what you're talking about, potential. Like, oh, I'm trying to start a business, but I'm in the process of getting my liquor license. I'm in the process of getting funding. I have a plan. I'm already making those moves. I already da 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 da. I have a savings. I have investors or whatever. Like, are you making moves or are you just sitting around wishing on a star? Because that shit not going to work. A lot of men do that. And they look for a nice dummy, which was me once. You know what I'm saying? who's just infatuated by attention because that's what I love. I love attention. Even now, I love attention. But I don't love attention so much to where I let it shadow what the fuck is really going on. I used to not give a damn. I used to just live in some fucking fantasy world. Like, I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me. Looking back, I'm like, I wish I could slap myself, bitch. Psh, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> you live and you learn, you know what I'm saying? Shit. If you're a rapper, <laughs> if you're a rapper, you better be making so much money with your main business first, right? For real. I keep, I can't keep wishing on a star. I'm out of wishes. I just got determination and goals, period, s and okay? Like, you just got to get it. You got to get out the mud. And I'm not even to where I want to be yet. You know what I'm saying? In life. But, you know, I, as far as being, like, established, I can say that I've, I'm established, you know? Like, I don't... You know, I'm okay. Everybody has goals. Everybody wants to be better and bigger and, and earn more money. And everybody has a path that they would like to see themselves on. I'm not saying everybody should be where they want to be in life when you meet them. But if you're not on the way to that actively and established where you're at right now, I don't, I promise you, I'm not, I'm not about to, no, too old. I'm not old, but I'm too old for that shit. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No. If your phone bill's still in your mama's name, 
Uh-uh. Your mom paying your phone bill every month? I literally dated a guy like that. His mom paid his phone bill every month. No. Uh -uh. No, sir. No, sir. Um, and broke men are angry. They are. That's another thing, RJ. They're mean. Broke men are mean because naturally they're supposed to be the provider. And when they, they're not, they literally feel inferior. They'll literally hate the woman that they're with because they can't provide like they know that's that's a god given biology that we were built with like the men were built with and women are built with the same biology but for women you know what i'm saying just like people men bitch about oh women are too masculine da, 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 da. that's because you motherfuckers have made us masculine okay because they're all a lot of these men i don't want to say all but a lot of these men these days are not even they can't they can't lead they can't provide, they can't protect, they can't do anything. So then they leave us to do the rest. Like, what do you expect? But it's like, and I also say at the same time, if you come, even if you are a more dominant woman and a more masculine woman, if you meet a man who is truly a man, you will rest in your femininity. It's your biology. You will automatically be feminine. You won't have to learn how to be feminine. You don't have to put on a show to act like you're feminine. If a, if a real life man comes in who is naturally masculine, doing the things that he's supposed to be doing, leading, protecting, providing, you're going to naturally, that guard, that, th that thing that we have built up in us is going to naturally melt the fuck away. Nobody's going to have to beg us and argue for that. And if you do, obviously you're not, y'all not supposed to be together. You know what I'm saying? Cause I've been around different types of men that, you know, are naturally like they lead by example. Like they literally are just dominant. They know, you know, they know their role or whatever. And they play it. They play their position correctly. Naturally. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to follow a simp. Where are you taking us? No, I'm not going to do that. No. Mm -mm. That's when we start acting masculine because it's like, well, I know that plan's not going to work because clearly that's dumb as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. But it's like, if you're naturally doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're naturally going to be a woman and be feminine. That's my theory. Okay. Um, right, exactly. At a point in age in your life, you have to bet on yourself. Absolutely. Girl, don't get me started on this topic. Girl, we could go for hours. Okay. I love however you bring it. Girl, real recognize real. We don't need no sugar coating, period. Period, Lawanda. Okay. And that's really what it is. And fighting to stay alive. I'd rather stay by myself. No, ma'am. No, sir. Exactly. Like, you know, yeah. Uh, girl, we can go on and on and on and on. We'll have to get a glass of wine and talk about this another time. But, you know, listen. It is what it is. Um, I'm talking to this guy now. And I have been not dating so much. I took a break because I don't have... It's draining. It's really draining to date. And it's like... I felt like I didn't have time and I just wasn't going to date myself. And I have been dating myself and focusing just on me, okay? Outside of just being a mom. Obviously, I'm a mom first and my bad bitch second. But when I'm talking about, you know, my own personal life outside of being a mom, I was focusing on just me. And I'm like, I'm not going to, I'm not even, the conversation won't even leave text messages. If I'm not even going to go on dates with people. I don't, I know if I see one red flag, I'm fucking done. <clears throat> I don't have time. It's a waste of time because <clears throat> every time I ignore that first red flag and even go on a date or maybe two dates or maybe three dates, it's, it's still, it never works out because I'm like, this is the same shit. I already knew what, like, I already knew what she was about. You know what I'm saying? Um, I talked to this one dude who definitely had daddy issues. Men can have daddy issues, mommy issues, all that stuff. Definitely had daddy issues. And I knew out the gate he had daddy issues. Bro, if you have daddy issues or mommy issues, you're going to treat whoever you're with like shit period especially mommy issues but definitely he had daddy issues for sure and i was like i can't i can't and i'm not expecting like you would have a perfect childhood or whatever because my mind was not perfect my mom and dad were not together my entire life i don't consider myself to have daddy issues but maybe at one point i did i don't fucking know but at, at, at some point you need to go get some therapy you need to get some healing you need to fix your own fucking childhood traumas nobody's out here I, men do that they will look for a woman to heal them to make them feel better about themselves i cannot fucking fix you there's not a there's no amount of vagina or love that's gonna make a man ha forget or leave behind his childhood traumas all you're gonna do is make my life a living hell 
Been there, done that. Fuck you. Double it and give it to the next bitch because I'm, I'm not doing that. I've done that already. No. Mm -mm. No. Um, yeah. And that same guy also had commitment issues. And I don't know. Maybe it's because his dad left him when he was a kid. Um, but also had commitment issues. And I'm just like, I'm not asking for commitment. But if I were to ask you for commitment, you wouldn't be able to give it to me. And that's not acceptable at all. At all. <laughs> I want my options to be available. I don't want to be what if I'm if you're not ready to commit, why are you fucking dating? You know what I'm saying? Like, or even if you're dating to have fun, be real with yourself about the fact that you are or the person who you're dating, that you don't, you're not looking for commitment. So that if that person is, they could be like, okay, this is not gonna work out. Instead of lying or whatever to try to keep that person around. Men do that all the time. Women do it too. But you know, I am a woman, so I'm talking in what we go through. Okay. Right. At this point, I don't have time and neither do you, sir. Right? For real. But um, back to what I was talking about, because I'm about to wrap this up, y'all. But yeah, so the guy, one of the one of the guys I'm talking to right now um, is very nice. I like him. I hope he doesn't see this video. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. Say I'm joking. Uh, but very nice. Like he crosses all of the the boxes crosses all of the things on my list like you know not all of them but for so from what i know so far very nice guy very nice guy very accepting and understanding of my life my nine kids my social media presence um things like that like you know and it's just been a dope ass fire conversation um and i like him cool guy cool cool guy will he will he be around in a month i don't know i'll let y'all know because i'm real picky but what i do like about him and this is something that i've been noticing about me as i've gotten older is that i need a man that's gonna fuck me mentally first and i'm not talking about it in a bad man now I'm not, i don't mean like fuck my life up or fuck my mind up i'm talking about i want to be so enthralled in our conversations like i want to have that's what i can't find that's what I can't find. I know some people think I'm dumb as fuck because I have nine kids or whatever. Don't let that shit fool you. I'm very smart. Okay. <laughs> I'm very smart. Okay. And what I have a hard time with these days with dating is like, what's your favorite color? What do you like to eat? What do you like to do for fun? Oh, yeah, man, man, man. Like, man. like nah, like, no, before, no, fuck all that. You know, tell me, tell me something. You, you know, like, I want to have a good conversation. It's like, damn, I want to have debates. And that's what I like about this guy because the first couple of days we started texting, he pulls out this game, right? And it's like this dating game, date night game or whatever. It's like a card game. And he took pictures of them and he sent me the cards. He's like, how you play the game is I answer one question or no, I'll send you. He's like, I pull two cards. I'll give you one and then I'll have one. You answer and then I'll answer. If you don't want to answer, you could pass. And then I think he had to answer it or whatever, but it was cute. It was a fun. And I haven't met anybody to do that. And like, I don't know, probably ever. Right. And so we played this game. And one of the questions was, um, like they're good questions too. I'm gonna buy this game. Um, because they're good questions. Like, would you be open to therapy if you're in a relationship? Um, does your significant other's body count matter? Does, uh, if your significant other had to go to prison, would you stay within that relationship? Like some of them are funny. Um, some of them are like, you know, they're just like all kinds of different questions. And we had gotten into a debate about body counts, right? And I had told him, you know, I, and I got the question and I basically said what I said. I was like, listen, a body count for a woman obviously matters to a man, but this is why women lie. That's why I just lie, especially after talking to him and we had a whole debate about it. And I was like, okay, I agree to disagree, but I get what you're saying. I understand why for men it matters. But like for me, I don't care if you fucked a hundred people as long as you're not still like that you're not still promiscuous like that and i don't know about it i'm i've never asked the guy how many bitches he slept with i'm not i'm not interested but for men it matters right <laughs> but say four say four or less but don't say more than that because men they can't fucking process it you know what i'm saying i would I, that's why women lie. i'm like this is why women lie to y'all because you don't you can't it, it devalues a woman just like I guess having nine kids or having a lot of kids kind of devalues a woman to some men or whatever like if I you know if I had nine kids by one person 
then they'd probably be like, oh, that's a little bit better. That's not so bad. You know what I'm saying? But if I had nine kids by nine different people, they're like, oh my God, she's been smashed at least nine times. Like, you know, they can't, they can't process that shit. But it's like, if you, if a guy, if you knew that a guy got smashed, not or had got, was with nine women, you'd be like, so. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's different. I understand it. It's bullshit, but I understand it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? My thing is like, as long as you're not still moving like that, we good. Like, as long as you're not still, if you was being like that, as long as you're not still like that, I'm not, and I don't want to know, as long as you're, you're good, you don't have no STDs or STIs, um, you know, and you just, that was your past life or whatever, that's fine. Or if it was over the course of your life, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't affect me, but I ain't asking. I don't ask questions I don't want to know the answer to. I don't do that. Men are glutton for punishment. I don't understand it. But um, I, I forever, it's going to be four. Forever. <laughs> four. That's the number, ladies. Four is childish for a 30 plus three woman to say they better get their motherfucking life together. Shut up! <laughs> say four! Don't listen to me! <laughs> we grown and being married. It's been unlimited. Don't ask no questions you ain't ready for. Thank you. Men do that all the time. And be crying, sliding down the wall, out of breath. Okay, <laughs> they say divide men count by three and multiply. Oh, divide theirs by three and multiply women's by three. That's smart. And ain't taking prep pills either because. No. <laughs> Hold on a second, y'all. I gotta turn this air off. I was hot. I'm about to wrap this up. <laughs> Y'all are a mess. <laughs> I'm not, I'm sorry. I could be honest with you, but these men, these men can't take it. I hate when people do shit like, don't ask me my body count. I'm lying because you shouldn't even be asking me. Why would you want to know that? And does it affect what we got going on now? No, it does not, sir. All you need to know is I know how to do that little thing you like. Okay, that's all you need to know. You don't need to know nothing else. Just know I know how to do that. Okay? Just know it. That's all you need to worry about. They like to throw things in your face and use it against you to punish. See. I went ahead and just went out. Can y'all hear me? Mick said, if I was to go out and say I'm a virgin, like, with a straight face, I know that's right, bitch, because I sure the fuck am not telling you what I got going. That is none of your business, sir. None of it. None of it. Enjoying this live. Hit a like. Yes. I barely want to claim my second baby daddy. I'd be ready to pin that one on the first one. Girl, let me tell you something. Don't get me started on baby daddies. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Like I said, I recorded a video before this. I was talking about some baby daddy shit. Y'all don't want to, y'all listen. I be, I be embarrassed to say I even had baby daddies. I just be wanting to be like, no, I just had all my kids by my motherfucking self because these niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's like, a, we, we've, it's been a long road. And I can say that for the most part, I'm on the same page with them. And it's all like, okay, you know. But there's always, except for that last one. Y'all already know who I'm talking about. I don't even know. Fuck that nigga. But, um, you know, other than that, I feel like it's been a long time coming. But we finally are at a good space, you know. And, let, and then they'll do something. And I'm going to be like, you know what? See, that's why I never liked your ass in the first fucking place. Okay? You can't never get your shit together and get your mind right. <laughs> It's my last child dad for me. Uh, I don't like a girl. Look, I be regretting even having to talk to these mothers. That's why you look. That's why I should have properly. We all who don't like our baby fathers should have properly vetted these niggas because they are assholes. Okay, they're assholes. And I be like, what I don't like since we're talking about it is when the baby daddy gets with a new girlfriend and every new bitch he gets with, he got to like prove how much he don't like you or how much the relationship has been like, nigga, I ain't fucked with you in 10 years. Get over yourself. Okay. I don't want you. You ain't got to prove none of that bitch. I don't want you. Okay. I don't even call you unless it's necessary. 
shit. Matter of fact, just text me because I only want to hear your voice. Like, that's how it be, like, for real sometimes. Like, and it's a quick text. Can you pick it up? Okay, okay, bye. That's it. Like, what? You do not have to, you do not have to um, front, okay? Like, that shit really just be sending me. I don't have kids yet. I can't do it. Girl, you ain't missing out on a thing. <laughs> Disrupting my energy, right? <laughs> You be embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. It's been 16 years, but yuck, what I did, right? <laughs> what, what did I <laughs> What I'm trying to tell y'all, listen, I don't care how many years go by, I still be like, I was really a dumbass bitch, wasn't I? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't want to end myself like <laughs> my exes. I'm trying to tell you. It's it's not pretty. It's not nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Men ask those questions, being secure about their strokes. <laughs> Men are very, very volatile creatures. I don't like both baby daddies. Wish I could turn back time. Girl, my kids are grown and I still have regrets. Girl. Girl, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm in my 30s and I know my mom still be like, my baby daddy ain't shit. <laughs> I know my mom probably be like, my baby daddy still ain't shit. It's been, how many been? 33 years damn near. Shit, you still an asshole. So, <laughs> no, my mom and my dad get along now, but I know they be like, hey, now it's like, you know, obviously I'm grown as hell, but <laughs> I know when I was growing up, she probably was like, <sighs> I done missed my whole mouth. Mm, 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 mm. And got it on my new shirt, girl. I <laughs> know I'm fucking lying. Oh no. What's bad is when your teenage kid says, Mom, you was with my dad. What was wrong with you? What were you thinking? Girl, I'm gonna tell you what's even worse. When they know, when they know they ain't never ever gonna have another, they have no way in hell of being back in your good graces and still try. That's the shit that gets me. Okay. I ain't going to put none of my baby daddies out there like that because I know someone's going to be watching my channel and being nosy, okay? Okay, but I'm and some of their girlfriends too, but I'm letting you know they still be wanting it, okay? They still be trying to get it back in my good graces. Like, sir, excuse me, that's never happening again. Mm -mm. That's never happening again. Mm -mm. No. You can't even do what you're supposed to do half the time. I don't want to be with you. Mm-mm. It's because the men lie, and when we young and dumb, it works a few times. Girl, it does. Thank you, Erica. Hey, Lola. Hey, sis. I know I've been on here forever. I'm about to get off here in a little bit. How do you feel about people judging you for having nine kids and still talking about how dudes ain't... Wait, how do you feel about... Damn, hold on. How do you feel about people judging you for having nine kids and still talking about how dudes ain't shit? Um... I don't give a fuck. I'm past that point in my life where that type of shit hurts me. Um, when I was like, when, before I had a social media presence, I never cared because I don't surround myself by people who would ever throw that in my face or ever have a problem like that. When I got online and my following grew, that's when I first kind of got wind of, oh shit, people really will like literally hate you for like your own life choices that don't affect them at all in any way, shape or form. Um, so I don't feel any way about people who judge me for having nine kids. Like I said earlier, I don't, I don't surround myself by them type of people. Those type of people, even online, they can say whatever they want, but I've built my entire YouTube career following or whatever off of the, off of the fact that I have nine kids. Um, even if I didn't have nine kids, I still would be amazing and fun to watch. I'd be a fucking problem is what I'd be. Okay. Cause then I'd be a hoe for real. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, somebody had me a penthouse paid for. I'd be a sugar baby. That's what I'd be. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'd be a sugar baby. Okay? I'd be jet set and living my best life. Matter of fact, you bitches probably wouldn't even know me because I'd be living in Belize or some shit. I don't even know. Okay? I don't, they'd be like, where's Chrissy? Chrissy's out living her best life. We ain't seen her in a year. She'd just be traveling, never pays for a dime, doesn't have a job. Yeah, I'd be one of those girls on TikTok, bitch. I am, bye, okay? <laughs> nah, but um, 
And I probably would still be judged like, oh, she's a hoe. Like, she has men pay for her life. Like, only hoes do that. <laughs> you can't win for lose with these bitches. Dude, just live your best life. Fuck it. I don't care. The only time I get offended is when people try to nitpick at my life and try to dive into it on some real shit. As soon as it leaves the internet, then I'm, I get my panties in a bunch. As soon as people are watching my kids go to school or stalking us low key or whatever, then it's a problem because it's like, bitch, on some real shit, you don't even know me for real. I know, you know, we we here, you know, me and y'all, we here, right? We, we friends. But like these other bitches who just be watching and hating, like, bitch, you don't even know me for real. Do back, 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 dial it down. You know, so I don't really care to answer your question if people talk shit about me having nine kids because don't stop me from living my best life. I'm still going to do what I want to do. And that's really what the problem is. It's not so much that I have nine kids. It's that I have nine kids and I'm not miserable. It's that I have nine kids and I can still I can still bag any nigga I want. I can have nine kids and I could still do nice things for myself and keep myself up. Don't bag on my dog. Don't bang on my door. I'm wrapping it up. Um, I know he's like, bitch, get off the door. I'm just playing. Get off the phone. Um, I'm coming. I got some suckers for y'all. They were being good for the most part. Now they're getting antsy. Blaze. That's what it was knocking on the door. It wasn't the boys. I thought it was the boys. Like, girl, get up, hurry up and get out of here. Hey. Say hello, everybody. Hello. Hold on. Hello. <laughs> so you had a field trip today. Was it yeah. good? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, did were you a good manager? Yeah. Were you? Mm -hmm. Did you tell people what to do? Yeah. What'd you say? I was like, I was like, you go do this. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Oh, you were training people too? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Uh-huh. Did you have to, like, take inventory and, like, pay bills and stuff or what? Uh, we didn't have to pay bills, but we had to, like, give out supplies. Did you? To, like, the stores. So did you have, like, package stuff? Did you have to put it together and give it to them? Yeah. Or what? Yeah. Really? Yeah, That's like, so fun. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Ameritown, but Kaya went to Ameritown today. And it's, like, a, it's like a realistic city. So, right? Is yeah. that right? So it's, like, a realistic city. So they had to, like, interview at school for like positions that they wanted like they had to apply an interview right mm -hmm. and then you get you either get the job or you don't get the job right or you get another job or whatever kaya wanted to be a manager of the candy shop first right yeah she didn't get that one but they put her as the manager of the warehouse so they had to kind of like you know manage their employees and whatever she said else that you had to do package orders yeah, and stuff like that supplies oh that's so cool that's so cool. And then it teaches them like money and working and stuff like that. But you know what they need to teach these kids how to do? How to invest, how to save, um, you know, and all that good stuff. Okay, hold on. I'm on a live stream still. He's got no shirt on. Oh, my God. I'm on a live still, booby. Hold on, hold on one second, y'all.
Okay, you guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. I had to stop for a second because Blaze didn't have no shirt on. His pants is inside out and backwards. Onyx has no clothes on. Don't ask me why. The boy is just naked, okay? He always is naked. Every time he goes to the bathroom, he likes to just strip down and be naked. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, get off my door. What? He's not sharing? Tell him I said to share. He's not getting a sucker. Anyway. Um, she took care of herself during her pregnancies. All the babies are so cute and healthy. Never seen that ever. Not with many kids. Thank you. I love how you take time to talk with your babies regardless of what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah, I want. I really wanted to hear about her day. Look, that's important. What we gonna do is we gonna have conversations. That's why my kids don't know fucking boundaries. That's why I don't have no space and no privacy. Okay, it's open door policy. Sometimes too fucking open. Okay, but... Onyx is sitting by the door. He'll be all right. Um, but yeah, I'm about to get off of here and go and deal with them. I'm gonna make <laughs> I'm gonna make uh the kid uh the, yeah the kids after school snack and get them together. That video this that I was talking about earlier is gonna be up to spoke him up, y'all. Can y'all hear me? I spoke him up. The guy that I was talking about is calling me. I'm gonna go. Bye. Love y'all.